Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Abhishek Paudil. Today I'm going to solve a problem from hydraulics non uniform flow. Uh, okay, you can see here a sluice gate discharging water and a concrete block has been placed downstream of the sluice gate in order to create the hydraulic jump. You are supposed to find out the force exerted by this flowing water on this concrete block in this question. So I'll show you how to apply energy equation and momentum equation in open channel flow uh, to solve this kind of problem. Let's get into the problem. Here, the question gives you the data of upstream depth and downstream depth and depth before jump. Okay. Here, here a sluice gate across a channel 7.2 meter wide. Let's say B is equal to 7.2 meter. This charge is stream of 1.2 meter. Okay, this is the stream of 1.2 meter just downstream of sluice gate. So this is I term this as a 2, y2. That is 1.2 meter. And what is the flow rate? This question asks you to determine the discharge. Okay. What is the flow rate? Flow rate is needs to be calculated. Discharge when the depth of flow upstream of the sluice gate is 8.4 meter. It is given here. This is 8.4 meter. Okay. This is given here 8.4 meter. Okay, on the downstream side, a concrete block is placed in order to create hydraulic jump condition. And calculate the force on the block if the downstream depth after jump is 3.6 meter. So you are supposed to find out the force exerted by water on the concrete block. Okay. Okay, now let's uh, write all the variables over here. Y1 is equal to 8.4 meter. 8.4 meter. And Y2 is equal to 1.2 meter and y3 is equal to 3.6 meter okay here you, know, you have width same width downstream or upstream okay same width so you have got width and depth you have got width depth you can easily find out the cross sectional area of flow 8 section 1 2 as well as in 3 all right so let's go to find out the areas at the section 1 2 and 3 so that we can find out the discharge later on all right. All right. Let's find out area. A1 is equal to B into Y1. A2 is equal to B into Y2. A3 is equal to B into Y3. Okay. You can easily find out the areas by substituting these values over here. Let's find out area. Okay. Area A1 is equal to 60.48 meter square. And A2 is equal to 8.64 meter square and A3 is equal to 25.92 meter square. 25.92 meter square. Okay, I have calculated cross sectional area of flow at three sections of the uh, open channel flow. Alright. Okay, let's go to apply the energy equation between this section 1 and 2 because this is 1 is upstream. This two is downstream, so we can apply the energy equation between one and two to determine the discharge passing through the sluice gate. Okay, so first we apply energy equation to determine the discharge, and after that we apply the momentum equation at section two and three to determine the force exerted on the block by the flowing water. All right, okay. The question does not give you the head loss. So there is no head loss given so that you can ignore the head loss between this just upstream and just downstream of the sluice gate. Okay, now let's go to apply energy equation. E1 is equal to E2. If there was head loss was given, then you have to write this in a energy loss in the right side. Alright, E1 is equal to how much? E1 is equal to Y1 plus B1 square divided by 2Z is equal to y2 plus v2 square divided by 2z and now you can write this velocity in terms of discharge that is y1 plus q square by 2z a1 square is equal to y2 plus q square by 2z a2 square substitute the values over here <coughs> you can substitute the value over here 8.4 plus q square divided by 2 into 9.81 into a1 is how much a1 is 60.48 meter square 60.48 meter square 
एंड इज इक्वल टू वाई टू वन पॉइंट टू मीटर प्लस क्यू स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय क्यू स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय टू इनटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इनटू एट टू स्क्वायर एट टू इज आउट मच एट पॉइंट सिक्स फोर स्क्वायर एट पॉइंट सिक्स फोर स्क्वायर हम वो चीज़ देखते हैं आज ऑन्डेट थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फाइव ऑन्डेट थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड ओके वी हैव जस्ट फाउंड आउट द डिस्टेंस पासिंग थ्रू द स्लूस गेट बाय यूजिंग एनर्जी इक्वेशन बिटवीन दिस सिस्टम वन एंड टू इन द वाटर फ्लोज फ्रॉम हियर देर इज अ रिएक्शन डेवलप्ड फ्रॉम दिस डिरेक्शन आई हैव टू राइट दिस रिएक्शन आर लाइक दिस ओके रिएक्शन आर लाइक दिस एंड व्हिच इज द रिएक्शन डेवलप्ड ऑन द कंक्रीट ब्लॉक ओके आई हैव जस्ट गिवन दिस एज अ कंट्रोल वॉल्यूम एंड दिस 22 इज अ हाइड्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स ये ऑफ ये ऑफ 2 इज एक्टिंग ओवर हियर एंड ये ऑफ 1 इज ये ऑफ 3 इज एक्टिंग ओवर हियर टुवर्ड्स द कंट्रोल वॉल्यूम दिस इज हाइड्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स ड्यू टू प्रेशर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ये ऑफ 2 एंड ये ऑफ 3 This always acts towards the control volume. We are going to apply the momentum equation. So we need to find out the velocity passing through uh, at the different section two and section three. Okay, let's go to find out the velocity V two. V two is equal to Q divided by A two. You have just found out Q that is hundred three point seven five divided by A two is how much? Hundred three point seven five divided by A two is eight point six four. Eight point six four. If you substitute this, you are going to get velocity is V2 is equal to 12.008, 12.008 meter per second. Velocity we have got 12.008 meter per second. And likewise, you can calculate V3. That is Q divided by A3. A3 is how much? 25.92, 103.75 divided by 25.92. You can easily get the velocity 4.003 meter per second. Okay, you have calculated velocity that is 4.003 meter per second. I have calculated the velocity of section two B2 and section three B3. Okay, so now let's go to find out hydrostatic force E of two and E of three in this control volume. Okay, hydrostatic force that is gamma A X bar. We are going to apply the formula of hydrostatic force that is gamma A X bar. And E of two is equal to gamma A two X two bar. X two bar. Okay, how much is A2? A2 is equal to 8.64 meter square, and x2 bar is x2 bar is y2 by 2. Okay, the the vertical distance from the you know free surface to the centered of the area that is called x2 bar. So I have got y2 how much? Y2 is equal to 1.2 meter. 1.2 divided by 2 is equal to 0.6 meter. Okay, I have got A2. I have got x2 bar. Let's go to find out f2. 9810 into A2 is 8.64 into 0.6. If you substitute these values, you are going to get the hydrostatic force of two is 50855 points, 50855 point, 50855 point 04 newton, 04 newton in this direction. Okay, of two is gamma A2 x2 bar, and this is 50855, 50855 point 04. Newton in this direction. Okay, likewise, let's go to find out E of three hydrostatic force at section three. E of three is equal to gamma A three x three bar. Okay, gamma is nine eight one zero and A three is how much? Twenty five point nine two. A three is twenty five point nine two meter square. Meter square. Meter square. And E of three is y three by two. E of three is y three by two. How much is y3? Y3 is 3.6 meter. 3.6 by 2, 1.8 meter. 1.8 meter. And a3 is equal to 25.92 meter square. So let's substitute over here. 25.92 into 1.8. You can easily get the value of 3. That is 457695.36. 457695.36 newton in this direction. And finally. You can apply the momentum equation between section two and section three in order to determine the force exerted by the flowing water on the concrete block. So let's apply the momentum equation between section two and three. Apply momentum equation. Momentum equation between between two section two three section. Let's generate the momentum equation. That is, summation force is equal to 
रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम व्हाट इज द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम यम बी टू फाइनल मोमेंटम माइनस इनिशियल मोमेंटम डिवाइडेड बाय टाइम फाइनल मोमेंटम यम बी टू बिकॉज देर इज नो मास चेंज यम बी टू माइनस यम बी वन वेलोसिटी चेंजेस बट मास रिमेन सेम यम बी टू माइनस यम बी वन बाई टाइम एंड फाइनली यम इज कॉमन यम बाई टी बी टू माइनस बी वन यू कैन गेट दिस यम बाई टी बी टू माइनस बी वन इन टर्म्स ऑफ दिस but we don't deal with the mass terms we have to uh, convert this into discharge term so we know that the mass is equal to volume into density you know volume by time is discharge that is so we have got summation force is equal to rho q rho discharge q v2 minus v1 we are going to apply this equation this momentum equation between this point 2 to 3 okay so our job is to place the forces by considering the direction uh in this right side let's let's write the force in this horizontal direction okay that is you have to you have to in this in this direction minus r is a reaction developed r and the minus e of 3 is equal to rho q v2 minus v1 okay you have got e of 2 you have got e of 3 you have got density discharge velocities so soft by substituting all these values let's substitute all these values substitute all these values that is 50855.04 minus r minus f3 is 457695.36 65.36 minus r Is equal to density is how much thousand and discharge is how much discharge is equal to hundred three point seven five into B two is how much B two is four point zero zero three minus twelve point zero zero eight. Okay, if you substitute these values, okay, you know you substitute you have two, you have three rho q B two B one, then only the unknown is the reaction. Okay, which you are supposed to find. So on solving this, you can get the reaction is R is equal to four two three six seven eight point four three newton. So when you multiply by thousand into this this, so you will get in terms of newton. So that's why we have to work out on newton. So you must write this E of two and E of three in newton, so that R comes in newton. And after this, I'm going to convert this into kilonewton. Okay. So at this moment, let's divide it by thousand four hundred twenty three point. 68 kN I have written this one this acts in this direction okay because the value comes here positive value comes so that the the direction assumed is was correct so this r acts in this direction the force of water acts in this direction so you can say that you can say that the reaction we have got the reaction and reaction is is equal to the force exerted from the newton's third law so here force exerted by flowing water flowing water on concrete block concrete block is equal to the reaction value that is same 423.68 kN f is equal to 423.68 kN but in the opposite direction that is the reaction is in this direction and force must be in this direction you can see here so this is our final required value that is force exerted on the concrete block okay we have applied energy equation to find out the discharge and at last we applied the momentum equation in the concrete block assuming the control volume between 2 to 3 so that we we have found out the force exerted by water on the concrete block very nice question okay for the, this type of uh, important conceptual question keep in touch with me subscribe my channel also okay see you in the next video thank you